All right, so this is going to be a Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and as well Aquarius Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading June 1st to June 7th, uh, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a private reading, um, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website uh, from where you can purchase such. And as well, if you are um, into start learning to read tarot cards and you like the way I do it, uh, my beginner tarot classes are starting the 21st of June and you can sign up for them by uh, going at my tarot classes section at my website. It's a six weeks long A tarot class. So that being said, moving to the uh, spread straight away. So the first card, which marks the very topic of your week, uh, Aquarius, that is to be the Hierophant moving next. It is the uh, energies that are feeding and supporting the topic itself. That is going to be the nine of uh, wands, followed by uh, the um, challenges that you will have to overcome here. That is to be the ten of pentacles. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the uh, gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the gift and the blessing of the Four of Cups. Followed by uh, the impression that you're going to leave into the people around. We do have the Death card and the last one here, which is the Guidance that Tara is offering. That will be the Fool card. Okay, so with the last three, that completely changed the first three of the cards. All right, because the Ten of Pentacles could be so, so, okay, it could be one of the ways. And it does look like that with the last three cards, um, from one of its, I would say, meaning, but not exactly meaning, let's say, direction, jump into the other direction, which is completely opposite. So, um, let's see what we have, uh, first and foremost. The energies and the situation itself so with the energies of the nine of wands uh, this week um energy uh, this week you are going to start uh, drawing if you will from your previous ex experience from previous situations and you would need to sew it is because you're going to have a glimpse from the past if you will so you're going to have a re repeatance it is like a previous situation is to be resuscitate once again it could be with the next partner in relationship you know it could be with a uh, a business endeavor that uh, have been slumbered back in the days and now is brought to bear once again and etc etc it's just something that did not met his end from the past or it or its end from the past now it's going to come back and play a, a role for you within this particular week and you have to draw from the uh, from the past experience of yours, you know, so you can handle and tackle with it correctly because that is what the situation will demand from you straight away. So the energy, uh, the energies additionally to that are, are going to make you very, I would say, uh, open minded in a sense of that you will be able to recognize uh, the necessary adaptations that you will have to do, the necessary conscious changes, if you will, and you will have no problem whatsoever doing it or doing those changes and that will be for the solo reason here so you can face the ups and downs with much more bear and not just only that but as well to prepare yourself for the i don't want to say the storm but because under the storm i mean the activity and the dynamic that is to come about so this week for you it's all about making a decision how to face you know what it is looming on the horizon this resuscitated situation and as well um, on what terms you are to face it and that will lead to the situation of the week itself which is about the hierophant so with the hierophant it does depend what the resuscitated activity is going to be for you but it will reside either uh, on trust or it will reside either on a, uh, a personal beliefs. So what I mean here is that if it is about the job and, and your career, say with the hierophant, it plays a role like, you know, you will have to uh, identify, are you going to work or perform upon the looming endeavor here in terms of career because of it? 
or because of the money. And with the Hierophant, things need to go the traditional way. I mean, you do the job because you like the job. The money are going to find you on their own accord. Or if it is about love, you know, or it is about relationship, uh, then the question is like, can you trust that person? I mean, can you align yourself in a such a way with you know, their life and with their behavior, if you will, so you can learn to trust them because no matter how much you love somebody, if you can't trust that person, a relationship cannot happen at all. And uh, that is what the whole thing is going to be all about. You know, it's kind of like finding the appropriate way, not, not exactly finding, but identifying the appropriate way, the true way, if you will, how to tackle with the situation that could not have been tackled back uh, back in the days. Now, whatever problems there were back in the days, they for sure can be resolved in the, into the already existing framework, um, into the existing situation, meaning that you don't have to look very far, you know, to find the core of the reason why, why something is happening and how to fix it as well. Now, if you do have a problem of doing so, then maybe you are going to need some sort of a, a guidance, some sort of a, um, a counseling, if you will. And that refers to a benevolent support that you're also going to receive should you be able, should you be open to accept it as well. Uh, moving next, we do have the challenges and that will be the challenge of the Ten of Pentacles. And this is where, you know, the reading changed based on the previous cards. So Ten of Pentacles here as a challenge points that are you completely free from the past? Do you have your independence? That is the challenge that you need to accomplish throughout the week. Because regardless of are you going to go by with the resuscitated situation or you're going to completely sever from it, you have to end up, you know, with no attachment to the past whatsoever, meaning that you should not regret your decision at all. And uh, that will allow you to place your resources, which could be money, which could be time, you know, which could be effort as well, accurately and accordingly to 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 what kind of an achievements you want to uh, you want to have for yourself moving forward into the future. So all a long story short, it's very confusing. I know. I mean, it's it's a pretty broad reading, if you will. Uh, but all in all here this week, June 1st to June 7th, it is to uh, it is a week where you have to analyze is what it is about to happen going with or against your personal beliefs. And if it's going against your beliefs, then you have to liberate yourself from it. If it goes with your beliefs, then you have to liberate yourself from the past so you can accurately place your resources, which once again could be love, money, you know, time and etc. devotion uh, into the endeavor itself. And so that leads us to the next one which stands uh, for the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy here, Aquarius. That is going to be the Four of Cups. And as a gift and blessing, the Four of Cups here uh, points that you can extract a lot of information and a lot of dividends from that past experience I talked about. And you can definitely implement those things into the ongoing businesses and into the ongoing enterprises that are happening into your um, into your immediate future or that, that are yet to happen into your immediate future. And also, as a gift and blessing, the Four of Swords here points, the Four of One, uh, the Four of Cups, I'm sorry, here points that the things doesn't have to end like they have ended before. You definitely can have your turn around, uh, turn around. And in more, most extreme cases, if I can give us an, an example, it is a utter failure of a relationship, you know, and that ex comes back. Now, this time, of, this time around, you can make it a beautiful thing, you know, only if, what it is in front of you both completely matches with your personal beliefs. And those personal beliefs, by the way, have changed from the situation you had back in the days to present days. And that is exactly how people are seeing you here with the death card. People are seeing you different. People are seeing you like you know, you are ready to undertake the new stage of your life one way or another. And either is going to be with this looming, revitalized, you know, enterprise, or you're going to find a new enterprise 
that doesn't really matter to them it doesn't really matter to you because the death card it's a, it's a change but it's a change through a substitution this is something i'm explaining into my classes okay so even if you fail into a relationship that is going to be substituted with another so people are going to People were seeing you as a, as a person who, does, who is not afraid to try, who is not afraid to experiment, who is not afraid to search for their success, you know, for their happiness as well and for their love. And if they don't find it right now into this enterprise, they are going to find it into the next one or the one after the next one and so on and so forth. But definitely people were, gonna, people were seeing you determined to find whatever you are searching and the last one here it is the guidance which exactly turn about the um, direction of the ten of uh, pentacles so the full card um, asks you or guides you or advises you if you will to aim for a brand and I mean completely brand new experience and this is why your uh, your beliefs changed or your concepts changed so you you had your concepts back in the days you know, and that's why the relationship or the job failed. But now your concepts are different and that presents with a brand new experience. And you are free to choose a different experience, okay? But it needs to be a brand new, something that you have not experienced by to date, okay? So uh, if it is about a new relationship, that new relationship should not have anything to do with a previous, it should not even resemble a previous uh, previous relationships and that could happen with an ex okay an ex that comes and you both can create a relationship that has nothing to do with the previous relationship you both you both had so you gotta aim for a brand new experience so that being said Aquarius this was your weekly general tarot reading June 1st to June 7 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, again if you are interested in a personal reading uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from where you can purchase such and as well if you're interested into tarot classes and you want me to convey you the knowledge i have you can sign up for my class which starts at 21st of june and uh, to do so you have to just go to my uh, tarot classes uh, section of the website and uh, purchase the class so hopefully we're going to see each other around until then bye